to its permanent position began a bit earlier than uh, than uh, scheduled today. Uh, Harmony was freed at 3.21 a.m. Central Time. And uh, motion uh, on the arm began uh, at uh, 3.27 a.m. Here we can see uh, some shots, uh, short synopsis of this uh, relocation activity taking Harmony from uh, its temporary position on the port side of the Unity node, uh, where it's been uh, since October 26th after its delivery uh, by Discovery on STS-120, and berthing it uh, on the outboard end of the Destiny Laboratory, the very forward end of the International Space Station. Peggy Whitson operated the uh, common berthing mechanism, supposed to free the uh, Harmony module and uh, subsequently to attach it. And uh, flight engineer Dan Tani uh, was uh, the Canada Arm 2 operator maneuvering the uh, hefty uh, node to the Harmony node uh, deftly uh, and relatively quickly uh, to the uh, berthing port on the outboard end of Destiny. Again, that operation uh, began early, and uh, the actual operation itself uh, was accomplished uh, about uh, two hours uh, ahead of schedule. Here in this uh, recorded footage, uh, Harmony's at the uh, premate position. And now it's uh, approaching contact uh, with the uh, U.S. Laboratory Destiny, Harmony on the left and Destiny on the right. <laughs> 